piece. And we've got one more section that will be done by Emilia and Cindy. Uh, so I'll give a brief introduction, first of all, to Emilia. Uh, she's speaking as a parent and uh, about uh, how, as parents, we want to uh, help our young people with responsibility and autonomy. And a, bit, a minute later, uh, several minutes later, <laughs> Cindy will talk about dealing with stress. So Emilia uh, <clears throat> has a background also in herself and in working with uh, Canada Border Services and uh, Immigrant, uh, I think that's mainly it, right? Canada Border Services. And what else? Revenue Canada. And Revenue Canada. So lots of experience as a parent also. <clears throat> so please go ahead. <clears throat> music can just wear you down. I know my parents would agree. So if you're wondering whether it's worth it, this is the first story the TV of music to your ears. You to that Recent studies suggest that kids knowing their do re mis can have a positive impact on their ABCs. Kids to take lessons for two dollars. We have to like call and be meticulous. 
Um, it's also giving me creativity because musically in music you have to understand the piece and interpret it in different ways, and it helps you sort of look at life and also in different ways. Sweet. Thank you. What I wanted to say is um, during that time when he um, did fundraising for four years of Grade Nine to Grade Twelve, not only that he learned the process. And he also worked with his schoolmates and the teacher. And those process was the one that made him have confidence and make him have self-esteem. And the bottom line, what I wanted to say is, if the kids that was helping by parents when they were young and guiding them and when they have self-esteem and also self-confidence, then the kids will automatically have autonomy and responsibility. So let's talk about um, his role. Growing up, Simons engaged in a number of activities, including swimming and playing piano, because he was such a skinny guy. And actually, that was time that he was being bullied. And as a parent like myself, I had to let him go for karate lessons. And the only thing I didn't want him to achieve was the black belt because I didn't want him in case to kill someone and he himself may become like a weapon. So that was the time that I said to him, I'm so sorry I have to stop you when you go to the black belt. This is something that mom don't want you to go. <laughs> okay. And um, so when he played piano, of course, they, they thought that he was a virtual singer. He realized that he has so many opportunities and want to share his opportunity with others. So when he organized the four, um, four, uh, four concerts, he learned a lot because he did a lot of teamwork with the school, and also he learned a lot the collaboration at the very early stage. And I find that this is something I wanted to share with parents, because if your kids can learn to do things and volunteer their work with others, that is a way of helping themselves to teach themselves to have more confidence. And then during that time, it was very amazing and also it was very rewarding because when he was helping Dixon Music at the time, you only paid $2.50 to learn piano. And so many kids were lying over there and wanted to learn. As a result, we met a guy called Eric, Eric Tang. And right now, Eric, he is third year university student in Cornell. And at the time, he learned four years when Simon was doing fundraising for four years in Dixon Music. And because of his parents were not able to afford to pay regular piano lessons, so he took lessons for four years over there. And not only that, after Eric graduated from Dixon Music, and Eric also went back and teach other kids in Dixon Music. And when um, Simon helped to do work for Eva Phoenix. If you check Eva Phoenix, that is a youth homeless, homeless place. And what I wanted to say is, when the kids has an early age, that they have the opportunity to work and do something for others, then it really, really benefit to them that as a mom, I didn't have to nag so much about the value and all these kind of things to my child. Okay. And so also, it helped a lot of things that I don't really have to uh, tell him the value because when he saw the other kids, what, how unfortunate some other kids, then it would really help him. It's almost like a self-taught rather than me telling him. As the parents, okay, we have to understand the character of our own unique child to identify and discover the passion and potential of the child. There's a lot of things that when a child in the early stage, we teach them, not forcing them to learn something, but it's learn through play. As early as whenever, from infanthood to whatever the age. Okay. Um, guy and propose a plan and draft work. Learn the collaboration. Let them know the beauty of working together as a teamwork. The kids originally, you don't have to say, oh, you have to score high 90, but you have to say, what did you learn today? 
I never tell my kids, oh, you have to be better than so and so. But I always tell my children, do your personal best. You are not complete with others. You are only complete with yourself. That's the main thing that I wanted to say. And I always support my kids, no matter whether what they do or when they make a mistake. How to support your kids to deliver determination and perseverance means somebody called grits. Develop the passion and potential to achieve long-term goals. Cultivate growth mindset instead of status mind by praising them, the hard work, the detailed process of everything, the decision making, the complete task. Accept the failure at the beginning. Let them know anything that they fail is the beginning of another opportunity. Because in our kids' world, they may have to do 10 or 15 jobs in their life is so easy. Think outside the box. So something that at that moment may not be so achieving or may fail, but doesn't matter. Encourage them. Open their mind. Develop the flexibility and creativity thinking. Willing to take part in hard work, in any project. Take a risk with well-planned strategy. Try personal best. Encourage teams to connect with good team and bring some solution. No one can be a lone person to be successful. And especially in the future world. If you bring all the young people, like these two army, I would love to give an example. Like a lot of young people, we encourage them not just to have your kids to be good at work together as a team, and this is what we need as a parent, to support each of the young people, not just our own kids. Have an attitude of appreciating learning and getting engaged in learning. Be sincere, be sincere to follow the commitment and responsibility, and not having your kids to jump and take a shortcut of something, because learning foundation based as early as possible, that is actually, to me, is a gift, is a blessing. Perseverance and determination, sometimes in today's world we call grits. There are two psychologists. One is Angela Lee Duckworth, a University of Pennsylvania psychologist says. It's about having some media, sticking with your future day in and day out. Not just for the week, not just for the month, for your years and working really hard to make that future in reality. That was says the best way to build the grits in the kids, growth mindset. Growth mindset is the belief that all the ability to learn change with the effort. When kids understand the brain growing in response to challenge, they are more likely to persevere when they fail. They cultivate grits when they know the quality they need for success can be developed through dedication and effort. And I know that I have two kids, Simon and my other daughter. Their character is totally different. So as a mom, we have to understand the character of each unique child of yours and bring out their potential and also their passion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amelia.